everyone. Today I'm going to look at um, some basic samba batricada, um, which is street uh, samba, carnival samba. Um, and I'm only going to use four instruments. So I'm going to go through each of the four instruments, show you it, and then I'm going to put them all together and you can hear how it works and you can try it in class. So the first thing we're going to work with is the surdu. Now I don't actually have a surdu here, so what I'm using is my floor tom here. And all you're going to need is a soft beater in one hand and then your free hand in the other. So this basic beat is going to be a muted tone on beats one and three, and then on two and four you have an open tone, so on beat two and then a double hit, so two quavers on beat four. So we get one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. So when we play the muted tone, don't do this, you're going to leave your hand actually on the head of the drum, and then you get nice open tone when you bring the beater off of the head. So remember, when we play samba, it has a push-pull feel, like an elastic band. So it's short, long, short, long, long, short, long, short, long, long. Also, remember, the surdu is the heartbeat of the batteria, so it's got to be really, really solid, holding the whole group together. Excellent. Let's move on to the next instrument. Okay, so the second instrument we can use today is this instrument here, the Frigidaire. Now, most schools tend to have a go-go belt. They're essentially kind of the same thing. I just prefer the sound of the Frigidaire. It looks like two frying pans together. It's a little bit sweeter. It's not so aggressive as in a go-go belt, but the rhythms work exactly the same. So the rhythm for this is going to sound like this. It's kind of an old school one. We're going to go... Which is high, high, low, low. So we've got two quavers and then two quick semi-quavers. High, high, low, low. Back to the high, 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 low, low. So we have two beats, two beats, three beats, then two beats. So slowly it's... High, high, low, low, high, 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 low, low. Brilliant. Let's move on to instrument number three. Okay, so instrument number three is this instrument, which is a tambourine. This is a, an eight inch drum, it's a single headed, so again, it's a very short, quick sound, a lot of attack, like most samba instruments really, because you don't want loss of sustain, apart from the surges, which I say is holding that heartbeat down. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hold it in our left hand, if our right hand has a strong hand, we're gonna hold a stick, or we can have a tambourine stick, which is like three bits of plastic together like that. So what we're gonna do here, the rhythm is simply this. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Now, if you're new to this, what I would suggest holding it here and leaving your finger on the inside of the head so it's a nice muted tone. Now, once you get good at that, what you can do is play the main strokes on the open head and then use your finger to play in between. So it gives it a little bit more groove, a bit more feel. So it sounds like this if I show up to the camera. Obviously, that's a little bit more advanced, but as I say, it kind of cuts those longer notes off. So, without sounds like this. With. And remember, once you get good at playing tambourine, we can start doing some movements with it. Everything we're doing in samba, we should be moving and feeling that pulse. Okay, let's move on to the last instrument, instrument number four. Okay, so instrument number four is this instrument, the Ganza, which is an aluminium shaker. I always suggest, don't play it like this, try and get the beads to sort of equally across, and then you hold it like this in your stronger hand, mine being my right. First thing I would do is just go forward and backwards. So one and two and three and four and, and students might have to do this for a few weeks until they get used to it. One and two. And what we're trying to do is get a nice, even tone, even rhythm. Once you feel comfortable with that, the next thing you can do is double it. So rather than a quaver pulse, we're going to go to a semi-quaver. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Now, within all samba instruments, they're like pieces of puzzles fitting together. So the main feel, the surdu pattern is dum, da gum, da gum. This main rhythm in samba, boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. We're going to try and pick those accents out. So rather than da 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 being all one dynamic level, 
we're going to pick bat, 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 bat. So when you're throwing it forwards, we throw it with a bit more power. And likewise, we'll be bringing it back so we get those accented, those louder notes. So it sounds like this. And the final extension, if you want to take it that little bit further, is trying to bring that push-pull feeling, long, short, long, short, which should sound a little bit like this. Excellent. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put all of those four elements together and you can hear how it sounds as one big bachicada groove. Have a great day everyone. Speak to you later. Bye.